cook with uh, love. That's the main ingredient. You have to take your time and do what you're doing and what you're supposed to do. That's what makes your mother such a good cook and your grandmother such a good cook. They cook with love. We got some octopus that we just cooked. Uh, it's going to be prepared and fortunate for later on at night. Um, one of the things uh, that I would like to uh, tell Chris is that somebody that put me into loving food or loving, uh, loving this career is uh, my mom and also an executive chef at the Radisson Hotel which taught me a lot about, uh, he really opened my mind about food, the tasting, or how, how everything smells, how everything uh, should be prepped and that's when I really wanted to go back and to school and learn uh, my culinary degree. People like sweet, gooey, you know, and just old-fashioned stuff like what I'm doing right now. This is pralines where you caramelize the white sugar and, you know, you don't just make, take a shortcut and buy brown sugar. You brown the sugar and caramelize it and, and it's just make it good. That's just how it is. It's just good. <laughs> Who taught you to love food? Um, my grandmother and my mom. My mom was a cook. I have a brother who's a chef. My other sister cooks, and uh, I caters also. Uh, and so, food—it's sort of like the movie Soul Food. Sunday was Sunday dinner. I mean, and we had everybody's favorite foods. And it's right now we still do that. I come from a family of nine kids. My mom have 23 grandkids and about 18 great grandkids. And Sunday dinner is still Sunday dinner. <laughs> You know, my family was not a huge food family by any means, but my mother was an opera singer and she lived in Italy. She had a Fulbright scholarship to Italy in the 50s. And so she wasn't a hugely enthusiastic cook, but what she made, she knew how to do really well. And she made a marinara sauce, or sort of like a meat sauce, that was just so good. And so what I learned from her was, you know, you don't have to be fancy, but you just have to know you just have to know what you're, what you're doing and do it right. And, you know, weirdly, I would say that my, my interest in food just is kind of self-generated. And I, I think it also has to do with moving to California. When I was 18 years old, I went to school in Santa Cruz, California. And I, it was my first experience with a real farmer's market. And that farmer's market just blew my mind. And seeing the quality of the produce, and I mean, I, I'd never had cauliflower. I didn't even know that cauliflower could taste like that. So I think that the true inspiration was just the amazing produce, the amazing ingredients. And, you know, that really inspired me to become a better cook. And now I'm just a fiend. You know, I want to learn everything I can about food all the time. I started cooking when I was younger. Uh, my parents were in the Air Force, I'm an Air Force brat, so my mom wouldn't make me what I wanted, so I learned to cook myself. So we have the local Sculpin fillet. Sculpin is usually like a five to seven pound fish. You really don't get much yield off of it, but what you do is incredible. It is so sweet. We really, really enjoy the Sculpin at Humphreys. And here we have the solarine salt we put on there. A Little bit of black pepper. And we also have some extra virgin olive oil, which is from San Diego. And now we have grilled local sculpin with local tomatoes, local olive oil, all within 30 miles of one another in San Diego County. My mom taught me to love food, and I learned to appreciate food even more so in my travels in Belgium and France. Voila. 
Who taught me to love food? Uh, you know, I would have to say it all started with, uh, you know, with my family. Everyone in my family is really big in, into food. Everything's centered around food. And so it was just a natural progression to to do that. And it just kind of grew over the years and, and grew into a really exciting career. So it's been great. Farmers markets, you can find better food, fresher food. Uh, you know who's growing your food. You know who's making your food. And I think that that's, uh, that's the trend. That's what's happening. People are starting to realize that. The person who uh, I would give most credit to that taught me how to become a food uh, conscious person would be a lady named Mary. Um, I, I met her in Washington, D.C. We, we actually were roommates for a while in a, in a great little situation. Um, and, uh, and she was just naturally somebody who loved great food. And she introduced me to the first farmer's market I ever went to. Um, and I just, over time, without her being like really pressuring or anything, I just learned how she cooked, learned what she did. And it just was through almost like an osmosis where um, I just kind of took on that. And then later on declared myself more of a healthy eater. Who taught me? Uh, Guy Savoie. That's where I got my ass kicked in Paris. Uh, for Phenomenal chef and uh, I suppose the guy that taught me how to run a kitchen and cook perfectly as well at the same time. So um, yeah, Guy, Guy's the man. Love of food for me was something in the family, my mom, my grandmother who cooked for me my whole life. I think they taught me what food is, how to communicate through food, how to show love through food and make food the central and driving point in my life. I was raised in a family basically uh, with hot dogs and some cheesy pasta no. that comes in a blue box. No. Oh, I swear. Started cooking early age. I learned from PBS and shows like the Frugal Gourmet and the Galloping Gourmet and uh, Jan Can Cook and all those shows early on. And uh, kind of have taken that, the emotion, that flavor for food and um, transferred it into my adult life and here we are. Really grew up in the restaurants, and most of our family dinners were had at a table at the Point Lumber Brigand Team, which is where I grew up, and that was the original Brigand Team. We had a lot of our family dinners, probably two or three a week. Chefs get their passion. I think it's all different areas. Some people, maybe they had an experience early on where they tasted a meal that was just out of this world, and they figure out, gosh, how do you prepare that? Other people, they've come up, they've started as a dishwasher, wanted to learn more about the restaurant. So whatever made that light go on in their head, typically it is a passion, and that's really what drives people in this, this industry. It's not easy. There is glamour sometimes, but it's really a lot of hard work behind the scenes. So it's really that spark, and different things spark different people. I think for me, being around it, seeing that people are out to have a good time, and you get to have a good time with those folks, what better place to be than in a restaurant? Or say, well, there's, first of all, my love of food came from my mom. I grew up uh, eating fantastic meals. We would actually have three course meals at home. Professionally, while working in Denali, Alaska, I worked with a chef named Laura Cole. And she taught me how to work directly with farmers and how to plan based menus based off what was coming out of the ground and what was really going to be the best thing to eat. I've always loved food. It you know, definitely goes back to my parents and grandparents when I was young. You know, cooking is something that I've always been interested in. We are in the pit rooms of Big Bob Gibson Barbecue, and right behind us we have some uh, hickory, basically a hickory pit. We cook with uh, hickory logs. Uh, we'll build a fire on one side and we'll draft the heat and the smoke across whatever we're cooking. Today we've got whole split chickens. We cook about 50 or 60 at a time. They're in about a mid-stage cook right now. Uh, it's going to take about a three and a half hour cook time on the chickens before they're perfectly done. Uh, but uh, barbecue is patience. It's time, it's patience, it's love. It is, uh, you can't get in a hurry when you're cooking barbecue. You, as a matter of fact, you can't get in a hurry when you're cooking any type of southern food. Uh, we're just back here and enjoying it, getting ready for a dinner service.